So today in this project, I'm gonna show you how I made this vase on the bandsaw. Now you can use a scroll saw if you'd rather, you don't have a bandsaw, but uh, it's pretty simple and your bandsaw doesn't even have to be calibrated that good, honestly. Uh, now I burnt a rose into the front to give it a little bit more detail. You could just not do anything, but a lot of people will scroll saw something into the front. And if you're comfortable with that, that usually turns out pretty neat, but it, it does obviously open up the vase. So I wanna start out by just tracing the shape of my, of my bowl on this. This is gonna be the middle piece. And this thickness right here is what determines how thick it is. It's about two and a half inches. It's pretty large. It's just the, big, the thickest piece of cypress that I have. Obviously you can glue up more pieces and that would probably be pretty neat and you could get a lot thicker vase. There are some limitations of the scroll saw. So I actually just had the idea of, um, of tracing it onto this paper right here because that's folded in half. And then, then I can just put the paper on here, uh, cut the paper out and put it on here and then just use that as my template. So I, that's what I'm gonna do because that way it'll be even. And so I, now I'm just gonna make half of the bowl on here and we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna go with that shape right there. And I'm just gonna contact cement that down. So I was originally planning to do this on the scroll saw, but then I was looking for a big scroll saw blade and I was thinking, you know what, why don't I just do this on the bandsaw? Yeah, it's pretty much a bandsaw project now. And I'm just gonna cut right up to this paper and then I'll sand it to its final shape. So now I can refine the edges on my sander. So one thing is I noticed is that this is going to be the opening of my vase and you know that's not much of an opening so I'm just going to zipper a little bit off the top here to make it a little bit more opening I'm just having this bottom side run along the fence and that will also make sure the top and the bottom are parallel for this next step I've removed I have removed the paper and you can probably tell from the gooiness on it but I removed the paper and now we're going to cut out the inside of it and you know this doesn't have to be a clean cut or anything as it's you know the inside of the vase no one will ever see it but you probably want to get these top openings pretty even as far as this wall and this wall just so that it looks symmetrical from the top angle but it's really not that critical and you know keep it pretty even thickness so that the weight doesn't feel too off a good woodworker would take this inside piece right here and make another vase out of it i'll probably clean out this tear out just so i get a better glue joint and don't have stuff falling out of the vase over time these little uh so these little fragment you know will tear out and uh be pretty careful because this is ingrained down here and it gets pretty thin so i'm not gonna put too much stress on this so i'm just removing this uh this tear out with the file and it's pretty easy obviously it doesn't have to be clean because i'm just gonna glue a piece of wood over it so you know as long as it's not there and it helps to have a little bit of curve on the end of the file like that because you can really you can really get in those corners good make sure you push downwards when doing this so that you push the wood away from the glue joint now i'm cutting the side pieces out of mahogany and i'm just cutting them to a quarter inch thick i'm resawing them out of this large block so this piece i just cut you can tell it's kind of warped right there in my and it, you know it cut pretty clean as far as there being no seam right here but it, it's a little bit twisted uh, i mean not twisted but cupped and that's just because there was some stress in the wood and uh, I think it'll be fine there because when I glue it to the cypress, I'll be I'll be weighting it and it'll it'll be pressed flat again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these two sides on. You tight bond two all over this edge right here. So a little tip for for like lining things up here is that whenever you're gluing something and you don't want it to move around, don't put salt in the joint. Then your joint is not gonna be tight. What you want to do is push it down so that you get rid of the extra glue between the pieces and you have already have that uh, squeezed out. That way there's not a bunch like a thick layer of glue between your pieces for the, for the pieces to slide around on. And when you actually start putting a lot of weight on it, you'll find that it doesn't move around as much because you've already gotten rid of that slick layer of glue between them. So I'm just gonna like push them down while still making sure they're all aligned. And that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna add my weight. I've uh, taken the weight off of it and I'm just going to cut the mahogany really close to the cypress on the bandsaw. I'm just going to flush trim this using this little bit of Harbor Freight router which really works for most uh, cases. I'm gonna just I'm gonna sand the edges to make it exactly flush. 
So now that I got this uh, nearly seamless, I'm gonna go ahead and route it and round it over on the router table. So I've sanded it now and uh, and wood burnt this rose into it. Now I have some close ups at the end, but um, after you sand it and burn it, you want to uh, rub it down. Now I burn it. You can just stop obviously and not burn it, but I'm not a, a, like good at all with the new wood burner my dad gets. Uh, I'm not gonna like teach you how to do that because I'm not very good at it myself. But I I managed to squeeze that out of it, and I think that's pretty good. Uh, some people will scroll saw something into it to the mahogany and then glue it to the cypress. That would be pretty cool too, but I want the base to be closed, so I went with the wood burning technique. See, I got that much sawdust off of it. I'm also going to finish this with glaze because that's what I finish a lot of my projects with and I, I like how it turns out. 